You're live. Yes, but can they hear us? <laughs> I don't see anyone saying hi to anyone. Oh, oh we have tons oh, of dear. people in oh, here. Okay. My goodness gracious. Rob, we're, we're, at 11.10. We're like oh, oh, doing ourselves Brooke from last at week. at 1, 1.40. My baby. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm Okay. Understood, Brooke Trout. Yep. <clears throat> Leslie Wood, hi, love my new Rokon Moto tractor. Thank you for the inspiration to go track one down and buy it. Next, a log skidder and a sidecar, then build a larger, bigger than stock. I love nice. it. A sidecar. I've seen a few of them with sidecars. They're amazing. I don't know if I could get you to ride in that. Nope. Come on. you would. The do dogs it. would. Oh, the dogs for sure would. JR. P and J's. Hello. Happy, happy hour. Good to see you in here. Steve and Susie's homestead, not first, but first to say first. You there. Got that right. So you still you got win. That right. <clears throat> EG wife. Hey, hey EG wife. Uh, and a quick hello. hello back to you. She says, Hope y'all are doing well. We are hmm. doing well. I hope you guys are doing good too. We are. Mother Nature's been a bit dysfunctional lately. We actually got wind and willow. Yeah. Which uh, woke us up about 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday so that was a tough day oh i hope so <laughs> that sounds good backyard, backyard trucker. trucker how you doing good to see you in here big family expedition wow hello if this is your first time in here i'm not sure if it is but uh definitely welcome to the channel awesome where do you hail from marvelous matt's garage hi there adam <laughs> and phyllis Matt AK, pizza in the air fryer, need to get the beer. Oh, Ooh. hurry up. Man, I thought you would have had that already, Matt. I know. You only got like an hour and 45 minutes, so. And there's Follow Alaska. Yeah. They're awesome channel. If you haven't checked them out, them and PJs. Honestly, any of the Alaska channels that you see in here, or even if they aren't from Alaska, I would definitely check them out. Mm -hmm. Um, especially if they're in here on a consistent basis, then that really says something about them. <clears throat> they're hey, gluttons Kim. for punishment. No, it means they're good people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe gluttons for punishment, too. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, you, you greeted her. Lots of hellos. Marketplace Boutique. Hi, everyone. Good to see you in here again. Ashley Anderson. Woohoo. Isn't he supposed to be packing right now? I know. You're leaving pretty soon, aren't you? There's some hellos. Uh, Lots of hellos. We tend to kind of skip over some of the hellos so we can at least pretend to keep up with the comments. There's Rob and Sarah. Hey, Rob and Sarah. Like Follow I just Alaska saw just starting already behind in the comments. I, I know. know. It just it started last week where we when we open it up, we've already got 25 comments. And they start at, you know, in the morning. Yeah, like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's yeah. Robert Bartman. Hello from the Bartmans. Good to see you in here, Robert. And there is a link for P and J's Homestead Adventures. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley is always on top of it. If you he guys is. ever can can coerce him into being a moderator for you. He's outstanding. Yes. He's gonna withdraw his moderator. No, <laughs> no way. It's like you hush. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm selling you out. Backyard trucker, great seeing everyone supporting each other. Yes, sir. And that is what we do here as much as we can. And there is follow Alaska's link. Awesome, awesome. Follow Alaska. We had high winds here too. The driveway looks like polished ice rink at the moment. Wow. Oh. Ours looks like <clears throat> a slushy. Yeah. Ours looks like a two track swamp road. <laughs> um, it, it just, it snowed and snowed and snowed all day yesterday. We ended up with about three inches of slushy snow uh, and sticks are sticking out of it. It's just a mess. Yeah. Ashley Anderson is sharing backyards link. Thank you, Ashley. Lee in Maine. Hello, Lee in Maine. How are you? Good to see you in here. AFJ the third. Good to see you, bud. Is he going to get stuck? He's only got two wheel drive. Oh, I don't know. We'll Hello. find out. <laughs> we'll find out. That should be interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Ashley, don't forget to post your own channel. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Paula. 
Um, Ashley, are you? I'm assuming you're going to be videoing during your trip. Are you? Oh, and that reminds me, Ashley, not to put you on the spot, but here's the spot putting on. Um, <laughs> are you going to want to be a part of a live when you're up here, Ashley? Asking for a friend. <clears throat> Mainly us. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay. Hey, and there's Ross, is it? I think it's Ross from Grizzly Acres Homestead. Good to see you. Yeah, we were talking about going snow machine in this next weekend, and I think I've already canceled that. Okay. Um, and because it is knee deep mashed potatoes out there and it doesn't look like any fun to, to be in at all. Big family expedition. First time here. Heard about your channel. Thought we'd stop in. We're in Arkansas currently. Oh. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Well, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, we definitely appreciate it. Any new faces, so to speak, <laughs> are always welcome. Hey, thank you, Matt. Uh, yeah, the Overlander did pretty good. The trailer. Yeah. Yeah. The weather didn't. Oh, work. the weather was awful, yeah. but otherwise it was good. <clears throat> oh, yes. Thank you, Matt AK. Much appreciated. Mountain Mariner, hello again. Too many in here. Oh, he hello again. Too many in here. Sorry. So, <clears throat> Matt put a song in my head during Rob's live because he was greeting Mountain Mariner and he said, hoist the colors. And then all oh. of a sudden my yeah. brain went into song and yeah. Nice. Ira Handworker. Hello. How are you? Hope your mom is all good. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do much for Easter. We took a great big nap <laughs> and I smoked some fish. Uh, yeah. We smoked some more salmon. So that was kind of awesome. That's going to be next week's video. You'll see what I've got for a smoker. It's kind of unique. <clears throat> Ashley will be here next Wednesday. Oh, got. dear. My, out of control. <laughs> Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Rob is saying, yeah, he better be packed already. Looking forward I know to meeting I would him. Be. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, PJs. It was. Uh, I mean, it's we're very fortunate to have that sort of a view in our backyard, so to speak. Um, it made it a really nice way to try out the overland camper without, you know, going 200 miles away and saying, wow, this didn't work. <laughs> um, you know, it was it's just the weather got really tough at about 11 o'clock midnight and we were getting mountain mariner type wind gusts. And uh, like 60 miles an hour, and it was just, there was no way anyone was going to be doing any sleeping. Yeah. So we bailed on it early. Or late. Yeah, <laughs> either way. Yes, thank you, Follow Alaska. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, sunset, I 849. mean. 849. Yeah. Yeah. Sunrise is 720. Needless to say, it's still light at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, so nice. Yeah, it is. It is much improved. Curmudgeon. Well, I'll stop sending people over there. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> <clears throat> no, don't do that, Rob. We love we love what you guys do for us and and hit these people. Oh, snow pole. Don't go outside. Oh, well, a good gas. I'd say we got it's, at least two feet. Yeah, it's it's got to uh, be. It was. It I was. Guess I don't know. It, it's got to be close to two feet, twenty inches maybe. Um, it was up to my knees out by the river yesterday. <clears throat> it was up to higher than that, and well, that was a snowblower bank, though. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm was... I'm talking right as we got close to the river. Yeah, we had to keep the doggos from going over the edge. <clears throat> Follow Alaska. Are you work at home? No. Are you at work or home, Mountain Mariner? I forget. I don't know. Ashley Anderson, rethinking my decision on packing my thong after reviewing the forecast. Yeah, I would definitely probably leave that off unless it's rabbit fur lined. <laughs> um, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You might get frostbite on, on something. <laughs> Which wouldn't be good. <laughs> Brook Trout one. Hello, former cheese heads. Camper looked nice. Thank former. you, Brook Trout. Oh man. I'm still kind of a <clears throat> cheese head. I'm not. Um, I quit watching football. Oh, as far as that goes, yeah. But yeah, no, I Wisconsinites, though, I guess will always be. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't really get away from that. 
Mountain Mariner is at work for nine more days. Ooh, maybe the snow will be gone by the time you get home. I mean, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Herm, hello from Texas. Good to see you in here. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. No, nope, mm. that's beer. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rob <clears throat> answered Matt at six or 8.48. Nice. Marketplace Boutique, Ashley Anderson, you are awesome. I awesome, Ashley. I totally second that. Yeah, Ashley does an awesome job. And there is Kermudjan's link. Thank you for that, Ashley. Um, Matt's Garage, all the channels that I've coordinated multiple reminder messages for Ashley so he doesn't <laughs> miss his flight. Right. Nice. Well, we need <clears> to know <throat> what time he's leaving so we can send him messages, you know, two hours before his flight yeah yeah i i doubt he'll miss it i'll send him a text oh uh, what's what's rob asking for a friend <laughs> if ashley's gonna do a live oh <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah here's ashley's link yes thank you ashley and what a link it is <laughs> follow asking for everyone <laughs> right yeah i'm pretty sure everybody would show up for that one yeah you're very right <clears throat> tnj's we all want to know ashley oh man talk about putting a guy on the spot huh i didn't do that on purpose <laughs> roger roger but hey ross is close enough for just call me grizzly ah. okay my bad my apologies roger ashley do you remember wilson from the show tool time we can I do, do that i will build a small fence that we can put right back here no no you won't wow we have one at work oh my ashley we have plans for you mm -hmm. matt ak curmudge in alaska jealous yeah lean main phyllis i found and bought the last four pack of cut water white russian must be popular so cheers they awesome. are very popular are you enjoying one right now lee <clears throat> and how did it affect you a little yeah. bit more than you thought, maybe. And there's Alone in Remote Alaska. Hello, everyone. And hello to you, Alone. Follow Alaska. Kermudge in Alaska. Maybe this needs to be left to a vote. <laughs> wow. Steve and Susie's Homestead. Hey, good to have you in here. Ashley might not know what to do with his hands on an actual live. <laughs> right? Better kid him his own keyboard. Oh, wow. We'll, we'll, do, we'll get him one of those uh, little leapfrogs. What's a leapfrog? Little learning computers <clears throat> for wow. little okay. kids. That yeah. way he can. <sighs> That's funny. And there's Matt AK's link. Thank you, Ashley. Matt's garage. Ashley's going to Alaska for the YouTube live tour. <laughs> there you oh, go. I love it. That's awesome. Oh, that'd be perfect. Ashley's live tour. Mm -hmm. P and J's LOL, Ashley, whatever you're comfortable mm -hmm. with. <clears throat> And there's Steve and Susie Homestead's link. Thank you for that. Follow Alaska and Ashley Anderson. None of us have a privacy fence. You're out of luck, <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, love it. We have some hellos. Oh, you did I it again. did it again. I love it. Ashley Anderson smoked salmon goes a long way with a bribe. Just saying. Oh, okay. I just may have. Oh, they're not here anymore. Um, oh, did they get put away? I, d I don't know what happened to them. Huh. I thought I put them away on the counter. <laughs> yes, you did. Who knows? <clears throat> and oh, there's. We... What? My, I'm going backwards. I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, no, I'm not. Follow Alaska. Ashley Anderson smoked salmon for the win. <clears throat> that works for us. Uh, Steve and Susie, we got the slamming winds down here in Michigan also. Yeah, they were they were pretty brutal. And we typically do not get wind here in Willow. So I'm sure there's plenty of firewood already down for me in the woods once we oh, uh, get rid nice. of a little bit more snow here. Yeah. Because I like to get that with the six-wheeler if I can. Just a little more maneuverable. Backyard Trucker, Stephen Susie Homestead, Marketplace Boutique, and I are from West Michigan. Okay. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Rob saying we went over 36 inches again, but with today's heat, we're back down below three feet. Oh. Talk to EG Wife at Ashley Anderson. 
She can make you a furry one. Oh, wait. You can do that, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, my. We're all about helping. <laughs> Phyllis, that's for you. This is yum. These white Russians are good. Yes, they are. They are addictive. <clears throat> Steve and Susie's homestead, a backyard trucker in Oakland County now, moving north to Wexford. Oh, my. Stop that. Who's that? Is that your kid? No, that was a 907 number. Huh. Oh, that was John Pike. Never mind. Um, it's, uh, we ran into an issue today. We ordered six wheels in for super singles, and they came in with the completely wrong offset. They're like for the front of a dump truck. I, I'm not sure where else you'd use them. And all of a sudden, we swapped from eight hole to 10 hole, and now I don't have wheels. So I'm trying to purchase some used ones from Anchorage. I'm going to buy 12 tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Not really. Backyard Trucker probably knows what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> Kermudjian, I was on the Anchorage weather, not the TKA one, Tokino one. We're the same as you guys. Oops. Oh. <clears throat> I figured you would be. You're not that far away. Ashley Anderson, too much. <laughs> I might start a new clothing line. There you go. Well, maybe That's, if uh, the EG wife is fast, she can have it made for the live when you get here. There you go. She is fast. Yeah. She's good. EG wife. The term frog in your throat goes back to the 1800s when Taylor Brothers used it as the name of a proprietary lozenge to cure sore throat and hoarseness. Hmm. They, well, did they use parts of a frog? I don't know, but oh, I could, made I with real fun. Hey, wow! I I don't know that I want to try that, but I could use something. Do you hallucinate after you? It depends on some the frogs, type of frog. If you, yeah, yeah. There's EG Wife's link. Thank you, Ashley. And there's Mountain Mariner's link. Mountain Mariner, if you guys haven't checked him out, it's awesome. And there's Rob saying, "LOL, Wilson." Yeah, for those of you that remember. Yeah. Oh, a little handheld fence. I mm -hmm. like that. A little white picket fence you can hold up and walk around. It's it's like a little Easter basket that's made out of little picket fences. I mean, I can just take it apart. Oh, man. We got you set up, Ashley. Not to worry. P&J's Homestead. Adam and Phyllis, do you celebrate Easter? If so, how was your dinner? We certainly do. Um, but this year, our dinner consisted of pork chops and cheesy broccoli. So, yeah. Um, our day was just kind of off yesterday because the weather had us awake after like three hours of sleep and yeah, we ended up taking another nap. So <clears throat> Ashley Anderson live from the outhouse. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if we you really want to, I don't think we're fitting three of us in there. No, but we could sit right out in front. Yeah, we could. Depends on the weather. Right. Go ahead. Alaska <clears throat> cut the record. Ashley claims... He is tech challenged, but he sh is sure Johnny on the spot with the channel links, Stella. Right? Agreed. He's surprisingly fast at that. He must have everybody's tab ready to go. <sighs> he must. And there is a loan in remote Alaska's link. Thank you for that. How is your snow doing up there alone? Are you having the same weird, windy, warm weather as we are or not? Yes, Lee Krog. Mm -hmm. Rob knows what I'm talking about. Ashley, JR, a new phone tonight, learning on the fly. Well, literally, you'll be learning on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> Lee and Maine, RE, white Russian. I'm still on my first one. Oh, boy. Nice. Trisha Wymore, good to have you in here. Evening all. Lots of hellos going out to Trisha. Matt AK. I'm once again out of smoked salmon. Man. I have a sad need to steal more from the sister-in-law's dad. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, smoked salmon is kind of a staple here. Oh, yeah. Lures of the day. Okay, so these were given to me for my birthday. Uh, they were made by my boss's daughter. Um, um, here, let me see. What? Oh, I was trying to find a, like, a white page that you could hold behind them. There Dang. we go. See? Teamwork makes the dream work. I say. Right. <laughs> Steve and Susie's homestead, the wind was blowing smoke down the oh, chimney. Oh, it's one of those days. Yeah, the wind actually blew our chimney cap off. It went ahead and removed it all together, but right. we didn't get any smoke in the house. No. That didn't happen just yet. 
Matt's Garage, we can sell t-shirts for Ashley's YouTube live tour. We'll call it <laughs> the Tour Furry Thongs Forever Tour. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah. I, I Let's do this. Ashley's going platinum in his first week on tour. <laughs> Beaver thong for the win. Oh, my. <laughs> You just you had to say the word, didn't you? I mean, there's lots please, of please OMGs. <laughs> um, Matt AK, just YOLO with the wrong wheels. Can't hurt, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know, right? That escalated very quickly. I, that is how this channel tends to go. We try to be mature, or at least I do. No, you don't. I, no, sometimes I do. When? I, when, when you're not here. Right, when you're sleeping. Um. <laughs> Right, I know. Curmudgeon, and that depends on the frog, Phyllis, and that's exactly what I was thinking. What? And there's High Life on the High Line. Hello, guys. How are you? Are you still traveling and out in a boot? Out in a boot. Good to see you in here, though. And there's Big Family Expeditions link. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> Matty K, are super singles better for Alaska versus duels? I, they're, they're nice, but we've actually switched one of our tri drives over to super singles. I'm not 100% sure that I recommend it because you do blow tires, and if you blow one, no, you have to change it like immediately. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of a, you get people argue different things. Some will say you get better fuel economy uh, with only having the one tire on there. Uh, but then you have the winter traction issue. In ours, we did not stud them, but we siped them on the tri drive. We wanted to try it out for a winter. I don't know. It's okay, I guess. Brook Trout one. That's, hmm, a, that's toad. a toad. Okay. Hallucinate that is. That's what I thought. Either and there way. is Amy Curry's link. Thank you, Ashley. Steve and Susie's subbing everybody. Great. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. p and sounds like a great dinner. Naps are good on Sundays. Yeah, the last two Sundays in a row, I know Sunday is supposed to be a day of rest, and they have been a day of a lot of rest here. Lots of resting happening. Mm -hmm. Kermudge Ian is saying right at JR. He's fast with those postings, and I'm on a laptop. Right. I, I know. He is darn quick. <clears throat> Lee and Main, question. Did you guys ever name your outhouse? Like our main outhouse or the racing outhouse? Oh. We have two outhouses. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> We've got one for high speed right. and uh, one just for general, you general know, driving around town. Right. Um, <clears throat> and no, I don't think we did. I that's a that's a great question. No one's asked us that before. Um, huh. We'll have to think on that. If you have an idea, Lee, I mean, since you brought up the question, you can name it. Right. High life on the high line, still hanging in Montana these days. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Alone is saying, kind of was supposed to get snow, but it just rained. Had about two feet of snow still melting fast. Glad the winds have stopped. Yeah, the winds were. Boy, that's really annoying. I don't I don't enjoy that at all. <laughs> and we've got lots of beautiful earrings for Phyllis and Thank Lee you. and Main. Oh, I see where tonight is going. It just might. It has that kind of a start, doesn't it? <laughs> but our, our lives generally start off really nice, you know, and everybody's calm and polite, and then boom, it goes south. Usually about the time that Monica Lynn gets in here. Right. So haven't seen her yet, so we may be safe, and this could be an adult live this time. <clears throat> I doubt it. Steve at Susie's Home said, thank you, PNJ, for the spelling confirmation. It saves me from the harassment from Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that is possible. I am a little bit of a spelling Nazi sometimes. High Life on the High Line. I'll head back to North Dakota around May 1st, trying to miss the April blizzards. I was so lucky to be there for the past two years. Oh, yeah. I bet those are. You think our wind the, yesterday was bad? Well, add two feet of snow to it and more yeah. sideways wind. North Dakota wind can just stay there. In North Dakota, you can get one inch of snow, and if it's windy, it's a whiteout. 
Yeah. It's, well, uh, you can get no snow and still not be able to see. Yeah. And I don't know where all the snow goes because it never seems to add up to much. There must be. We have seen some. Where was that? Where we they had the like snow fences up to break the wind drifts. They look like bleachers in the middle of a Wyoming. field. Wyoming. Yeah, in Wyoming. And there would be snow drifts in June or July that were 16 feet tall. Yeah. It, it's That's epic. why they put them there. Yeah. They're mainly on I-80, I think, because I-80 is terrible. Uh, okay. Steve and Susie's, well, 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 aren't we uptown? Two outhouses. <laughs> I know. We've got one for guests and, and, and one for... People that live here. <laughs> the clear one is for guests. <laughs> yeah, the clear one. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh, Lee and Maine, I'm sticking with Moonstruck. Okay. Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay. Then um, you'll don't have to, I have to have you'll have to stencil that up there. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, backups for the backups. Yeah, you never know. Flooding might wipe one out, and we gotta have one that floats around for <laughs> That just, just in tie case. it off. Yeah, if we could just tie off our mobile outhouse. Matt AK, so what year is Phyllis's new taco? That is the 2005. Uh, it's got 120,000 miles on it. <clears throat> we went with, because it's mainly hers and it's not pulling a lot of stuff, We it's a 2.7 liter four-cylinder with a five-speed manual. We both really like the manual. And the 2.7 has a pretty pretty bulletproof reputation so yeah and there's no timing belt to blow so i'm i'm happy with that i'm about done doing timing belts here lately <clears throat> just did one on my car jr agree with lee and main moonstruck outhouse okay we got the votes ashley anderson steven susie unless you're backed up <laughs> yes then this. your backup to the backup doesn't help you no no then you need some cod liver oil or something <laughs> Matt's garage at Steven Susie's homestead. It's a swanky side of right. the Wow. We're, we're fancy. We're on the uptown side of the tracks. Oh, yeah, we're apparently on the down river side of the tracks, though, which <laughs> isn't quite as good. No. We need to see an outhouse race. Anyone have a video? Yes, uh, we actually have uh we have that on video. It's, it's what's it called? The, I can't remember. And Matt also yes. has a video. Matt has a video. We have the video. Uh, it was for the Willow Winter Carnival Games. And it's probably about seven or eight videos back from our last one. Yeah, it was February. Yeah, and we did the outhouse race. And I'm still Actually, sore. since uh, Technical Ash Ashley, you could probably oh, find... You could probably find the link to that, Ashley, couldn't you? Not to put any more on your plate. Right. Curmudgeon at Lee and Maine. Should, Should be the moon moonstruck stuck. be from moon the cold? Moonstuck. Moonstuck. Oh, my. No. We have we the, have the uh, insulated. Yeah, we've got the styrofoam seats, so mm -hmm. you don't get stuck. It's warm. Matty K, a big family expedition. I have one. So does ACTC here. I actually borrowed their footage for mine. Mm. Yep. And Well, yeah. there we go. Yeah, it was very good. And we're not even that far behind, I don't think. No, we're not doing too terrible. Kumaji and Big Family Expedition. Yes, they have one from their video list from the Willow Winter Games. <clears throat> it was a really good time. p and J's Adam and Phyllis, what is the next project on your honeydew list? Uh, the next, I mean, as far as I consider it more of a chore than a project. Um, we've got firewood. We've got the greenhouse is already pretty much set up. We're just waiting for plants to grow. To grow. Uh, Phyllis has 28 baby chicks in the, uh, in the um, incubator. There's at least two that are no-goes. Okay. And there are some others that I have marked to watch. Oh, okay. But, You yeah, candled them today? Candled them today, and then I was all excited. I had to call Leif in there because one of them, I'd move it, and then the little critter on the inside would just... Start spinning around. Really? Oh yeah, it was great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's we've only done that once before. We didn't have great success, I would say. Uh, but my friend said that this incubator that he has is known for doing a really good job. So we decided to give her a shot. And 
because I watched um, I watched a friend's chickens. We watched a friend's chickens over the winter while he was gone. And then we got all used to him, and then he took them back, which made us sad. And it left us with only four hens because we lost a couple last year due to natural causes. So we decided to grow our flock. Um, we found that with about 12 hens and a rooster in there, that they all kind of just stayed warm. And you didn't have any one or two hens getting singled out and really beat up. Our rooster did suffer some frostbite his comb. I saw it the other day. It was like barely hanging on here and a little bit back here. And the next day it was gone. And he seems no worse for the way. No, it didn't. It's I a... honestly don't think it hurt him much because he would run into me with it and not, yeah. he wouldn't care. It's a common thing when you get, you know, well, he had it in Wisconsin too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Such a deal. Um, so I, I don't know. Did you want to add anything to that? I'm sorry. <clears throat> to the next honeydew. The honeydew list? Yeah. I don't have a honeydew list. We're going fishing and camping. Yeah. It's so. it's going to be an extensive summer here. We're already... I ordered a special <coughs> thing for my drone so that I can attach a fishing line to it and take it out about 750 feet and drop it in the ocean. Uh, for doing some halibut fishing and cod fishing off a of Seward and an Ilchek. So I'm patiently waiting for that to show up. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of fishing in the future, a bear hunt probably in about two or three weeks, which I got to start getting prepared for. And then there's, of course, the caribou hunt and moose hunting and fishing every weekend in between. So it's going to be a busy year. I'm already tired. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, yes. Lee and Maine, JR. I guess it'll be up for discussion. Big family expedition. We'll check them out. My kids will probably crack up. Oh, it's a good absolutely. Time. It's a really good time. And as much as I give the announcer crap um, every chance I see him, he actually does a really good job on the announcing the awards at the end. And it was kind of fun. Well, yeah. And getting people wound up, he gets yeah. the crowd involved and. Yeah, he's loud and, and a cheater, but and a bit he, of a cheater. Yeah, but yeah, you know, I have was, video evidence of it. So yeah, yeah, there was definite <laughs> cheating took place. It didn't help him out in the end. No. So I guess <laughs> cheaters never prosper. I mean, karma. Yeah. Can you open the window, pretty please? I sure can. Thank you. It's warm in here. It's just because you're sitting next to me. You know it. I do. Johan Plavier. Hi. How about Luna Lounge for the outhouse? So oh, we have a new vote. Well, that's uh, I, I that's like, that. like fancy. Yeah, that sounds very well. You know, we are on the upper side of Willow, so right. maybe Kermajian is hey, there is the link for the outhouse race. Thank you for that, Rob. You're rocking it. <clears throat> oh, yes, yep, two outhouses for Taco Bell night. That'd be one so for each of us. When he was building the outhouse, he threatened to make it a double holer, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> I know. Nope. I'm comfortable. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> and there is another outhouse link, probably the same one, maybe. I don't know, Ashley, but thank you. Robert Bartman. Hi, Adam and Phyllis. I just finished 12 hours of boiling. Boiling. Oh, uh, syrup. I bet. Oh, oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Wow, I haven't had real maple syrup since about a year after we I, moved here when we used up the last of what we made in yeah, Wisconsin. That we had made like 10 years before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it lasts like forever. I actually, I think I might have found another jar. Oh, my. Have to... PTL Fabrication. I drive doubles for FedEx Freight. We had super singles on our dollies. We quit using them. If you get a blowout, you're replacing a rim also. And that's, yeah, that's, that's very possible. I'm not sure what the huge attraction is to them. Um, I know the tires are about $1,000 a piece. And I think I just bought 12 of them for $350 a piece. Uh, slightly used from a, from another another company in Anchorage. But yeah, you're right. And the wheels aren't cheap. They're another $300 minimum. So, yeah, P&J's Homestead. Oh, no, Steve brought you up the TV. I know. I know. We haven't had a good Taco Bell conversation here for a while. <laughs> right. 
Matt's garage. You could really be the envy of Willow and outhouse with pontoons. Mm -hmm. I we we need it on occasion. You, everything it's kind of it, it's a self flushing outhouse at that point. All of them are. <laughs> In, yes. Yeah, all of them are. And there's Matt A. K.'s link. Thank you for that, Ashley. Steven Susie, Ashley's way ahead of the game. Yeah, he is. I swear, he's he's doing it before I think it. He's Ashley awesome. Rocks. You guys have some sort of. It could be we're connected yum, 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 on a guy yum. level. What? Ashley says. <laughs> it seems like you have something to say, Phyllis. Nope. Huh? That's Nothing probably that's good. Up. That's true. Don't forget thumbs up for me, Ashley. Lee and Maine outhouse. I guess if Adam and Phyllis don't use it, I will. The ex built one when I wouldn't let him back in. LOL. He actually left it here. Oh perfect. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's, that's, that's perfect, honestly. JR, if you're backed up, also go by Taco, go by local Baco Tell and hurry home. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I'd make it home because that's all the way in Wasilla. No, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. Nope. Ashley Anderson, I've blossomed since high school. I never was ahead of the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know the feeling. Kermudge in. Can you do a batch for me, Phyllis? We would love some new chicks for the fall. I don't see a problem with that. We yeah, actually we'll see how this batch turns out. And yeah. It's looking pretty good though. The honestly, the eggs that came from us, most of them look more better than the ones from Patrick and Brittany. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was hoping to kind of mix up the group a little bit. But... Well, I mean, you can tell Patrick to step it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll tell him to get, get his roosters busy. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. P&J's Homestead. Phyllis, that would be a great video watching the chicks inside, inside the, the egg. egg. <sighs> you got ideas, Phyllis. That's a great idea. I see some shorts in our future. <laughs> <laughs> not physically on our no, bodies because, because it it's... never gets that warm and if it does the mosquitoes get you and then you pull your socks up and then somebody makes fun of you so <laughs> yeah there's no shorts in my future but for the for the channel there, there could be <laughs> but trout one i have 70 chucker chucker eggs in an incubator nice wow. that must be a big incubator yeah JR, at last cut the cord. So you're growing your old cackleberries. Yep, we are. I love it. I do love the chickens. Ready? Yep. Ashley Anderson, the rooster needs a beaver thong for the frostbite. <laughs> he he needs a little hat or something. Get on that, Ashley. Yes, there you go, Ashley. I see oh. a, I see a video in your future. <laughs> Ashley, you should make one. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, Ashley's going to be busy. Uh -huh. Steve and Susie's home said, I think drone fishing might be a bit no-no. No, not at all. It's uh, it's completely legal. Uh, I'm not fishing with the drone. I'm just dropping the bait with the drone. So it gets out to right before you run out of line on your reel. And there's a button on my remote that I don't use for anything anyway. So you just Bluetooth it to that. And then when you hit that button, then it releases the line and drops it in the ocean. Otherwise, you have to wait till low tide, throw your lines out there, and if you reel them in at all, you're done. So, and that's eight hours between tides. <clears throat> Kermudge in, Adam, I forgot today was April Fool's, and someone posted a meme on Facebook saying the Hall Road caribou hunt was closed this year. I almost freaked out. Yes, that was the 40-mile herd. And Did uh, you see the meme? What did you, you see the same I thing? I saw it on did? Facebook. I was actually looking at it right before I got on here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that that's nonsense. You hope. Yeah, it is. And that's not where the 40 mile herd is anyway. Oh. That's going that's going up a different a different path. Matt's garage, Ashley Anderson. You go right ahead and try to get that rooster to agree to that. Yeah, I don't know. He's kind of he's a moderately nice rooster. You never know. He's pretty nice, but he's still got spares about that long. So you might find out how those feel. Yeah. Follow Alaska at Ashley Anderson. What in the world have I come back to? <laughs> you know, you I know. Have. You leave here for a minute. It's going to be a surprise when you come <sighs> back. 
Robert Bartman, I boiled down 50 gallons of sap. I'm hoping to get a gallon of maple syrup after I finish boiling the five gallons that I drained out of the evaporator. Oh, my. That is such good stuff. I remember the first time I tasted it, we had boiled some down kind of unprofessionally. And then I finished it in a little kettle on the stove. And I tasted it for the first time. And I was just absolutely shocked. And I, I hate like maple frosting or maple anything like that but maple syrup and maple candies that john hogan sent up here were absolutely astounding i could eat those full time those are really good okay did you fall asleep i did sorry. oh my pnj's homestead adventure busy fishing and camping sounds awesome we'll be combining a lot of those too Oh, yeah. It'll be fishing slash camping. Even when we go on the bear hunt, it'll be a camping slash hunting trip. So, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. Ashley Anderson, whose rooster are we talking about? Adams. Yeah, we haven't named him either. Lee, an idea. <laughs> <clears throat> P&J's, LOL, Lynn. You know there's always something going on. <laughs> this is very true. P and J is Ashley, LOL, the one that lost his cone. <laughs> Clint Gilchrist, hey, good to see you in here. Good evening from Texas. Great to see you here. How's your snow pole coming, Clint? Probably blew over. Follow Alaska. The kids come in with beaver and other furs, and then I come back and chat like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's awesome. Lots of hellos to Mr. Clint. Lee and Maine at Joanne Pavier. I like that one. Yeah, that is a really good suggestion. Very good. And there's Brook Trout oh. One's link. Oh, ready? Yeah. Ta-da! On to it, Aussie! Yay! Oh, we haven't seen you for like three weeks. That is awesome to have you in here. Hope all is well. That is awesome. Lots of hellos to On to it, Aussie. <laughs> Rob is saying, I don't think the folks down the river will like them much with that pontoon outhouse. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, neither, yeah. neither will the salmon. They might, though. Okay, we'll need a sec. Oh, dear. Uh, JR is asking, on to it, Aussie, where you've been hiding? Exactly. Um, a lot of people are greeting on to it. Here is on to its link. Thank you, Ashley. Oh my. Steve and Susie's homestead. He said it, Ashley. Bromance. Accept it. <laughs> oh my. That's awesome. Aren't you glad you joined this one right. on to it? Maddie Kay, I knew a family down in Brazil that was super poor. Their house was partially built over the river, and that's the part that the bathroom was. Simple enough, not pleasant for neighbors downstream. My, not at all, probably. Uh, Here's some greetings. hellos. Lots of hellos from onto it and to onto it. Excuse me. Hey. Matt's garage. Wait a minute. I sense a story behind the pulling the socks up and mosquitoes comment. <laughs> yeah, that was in one of our earliest videos, uh, tall socks and short legs. Um where we were both just kind of picking on each other the whole time. It didn't do yeah. very well. No. It was, I mean, it did pretty bad, honestly, but it was. It, a, it did terrible. It was, but... a, it was a fun video to make, and we personally laughed quite a bit, so yeah. I'm not going to change anything. And we it. still giggle when we go back and watch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, my, my part of the video, um, there was alcohol involved. What was there? You're driving? <sighs> she drives a little better now, if you see that video, and. You see it again later. <laughs> that was actually driving Rob side by side. Yeah. Rob says, cut those. I I don't know. As long as he's not being too aggressive to me or hurting the mamas. Yeah, as then... long as the ladies don't. Because he may get a chance to spur a weasel or something with those. So, And all of a sudden, the sun is very bright here. Yeah, you're closer to the curtain than I am. I am. I think yeah. I even know how to work it. You sure? I probably without wrecking anything. There you go. That's good. Oh, there we go. Is that better? That seems way better. That's better. Okay. okay. Russell, Russell RW, RW is here. Hello, everybody. Had to get some work done. It was a nice sunny day for once. Yes. Nice. In your, your area of the world, that is pretty rare. 
onto it. Honestly, Ashley, I'm good, but up to my neck and preserving ATM. At the moment. Oh, preserving at the moment. And I have tradies everywhere fixing the house. Oh, okay. What happened to the house? Curmudge in fresh maple syrup is nothing like what you get no. in the store. Oh, I totally agree. I wish we could grow maple trees up here. I don't see why we couldn't. They're right over there in Canada. They're probably alone can probably see them. Right. But the the somehow the the maple trees won't cross the border. Clint Gilchrist syrup from the store is just corn syrup and flavor. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not good for you at all. Early onset diabetes right there. High life on the high line. I agree with Adam. I am not a maple icing fan either. No, if I just smell it when someone opens a box of donuts, which happens often where I work, um, I just, I can't, I can't eat them. Their maple is just gross. Don't. I'm really sorry. Are you? I am very sorry. No. Yeah, it happens. Russell RW is saying hello to Kermudge and some more hellos to Russell. Kim is saying, I think you should name the rooster Taco Bell. Oh, my. Yeah. I I don't know. I... On to it. Aussie Kermudge. Sorry I didn't make it to your live. I will next week. That's awesome. Did That's... you get a new device anyway? Kermudge is saying, at Brun made it to our live. Glad to see on, on to it made it to yours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's awesome. Oh, well, Brun was going to be busy. Uh, some more greetings. Clint Gilchrist, I finally admitted defeat <laughs> and took the snow pole down. Nice. No, I don't blame you. Yeah, and Rob is saying, we need a word for the day at Onto It Aussie. Yes. Oh. She just said it. What? The tradies. Oh, yeah, the tradies. That's, uh, I knew what she meant right away. It's just I've never heard of them talked about that way. Oh. So, kind of cool. Russell RW, dang, I missed fishing talk. Shucks. Oh, there's always fishing talk here. Um, we're gonna start with we're gonna start with our earliest fishing will probably be uh some drone bait tossing out in Seward. And we're gonna go for halibut and um halibut and cod, not ling cod, common cod. And uh, whatever else we happen to catch, probably some rockfish. I have to get another one of these. Okay, good luck, Phyllis. Thanks. And after that, I think really in June is when it really starts to heat up. Uh, pinks are running. I'm not going after, uh, what do you call them, hooligan. I'm not going after them at all. I really never wanted to catch them. I was just going to feed them to the chickens and make uh, fertilizer for the garden out of them anyway. So then I know in early June is when we'll start snagging. And sometime a little later on in June, not much later, a couple of weeks, I think, then there's dip netting. Uh, in addition to that, I'm pretty sure I'll be out on the ocean once or twice. I've got uh, Randy Netmiller from uh, Go Midwest Fishing is coming up here for three or four days. And we're going we're gonna to take a few trips. We're going to go out to Nanilchik and do some lake fishing around here so yeah it should be pretty fun lee in maine a few more of these white russians and i'll have names for everything oh i love it i love it i love it ashley anderson care mudge you missed it the trades marketplace boutique ah oh, thanks pnj's homestead adventure you are so awesome and they definitely are love them Onto it, Ashley. Ashley, four months I've been waiting for those blokes to show. <laughs> oh my. Um, care much, Ashley. She's used tradies before. Nice. And Ashley is saying, Aussie, that must be a global phenomenon. <laughs> Maybe. But now I've got that phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no. Now I've got phenomenon. this. Phenomenon. Now I've got that song stuck in my head. Or Menominee. Menominee, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, JR at Russell RW, I got 73 degrees. Holy smokes. Where it, I can't quite see it. Can you see it? 
Oh, 40 and a half. Ooh, 40 degrees. It's Bums. actually really nice out. That's why it's warm in here. Yeah. Brooke Trout, want to name everything after myself. So there's a lot of little pollies running around my yard. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Where are we at? On to it, Asi Kermaj Banza. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay. Kermaj, what? LOL at On to it, Asi. What is Banza? On to it, Asi. House got smashed up Christmas Day tornado. Oh. I didn't even know you had tornadoes in Australia. Did they spin the other way than what they do in Wisconsin? Honestly, that's a legit question. It is. Yeah. It is. I, I'm not meaning any smart assness by that. Or am I? That's yes. hard to say. Um, P and J as well. I see everyone okay. Hopefully, yeah. That's that's not cool at all. Okay. On to it. I see. It means brilliant, fantastic, awesome. Bonza. Bonza. Brilliant, fantastic, awesome. Hmm. Clint Gilchrist. On to it. I see. Wow. Hope everything's okay. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Kermudge, yellow eye for me, please. Oh, hopefully. They reduced the number of yellow eye that we can keep down to one now. So <clears throat> that makes it a little tougher. But Really? Yeah. Oh. One per person. So you got to have all the people. Mm -hmm. Can we claim Sydney? What, by proxy? Yeah. Not considering he's out of state here. You have to live here for one cyclical year to uh to be considered a in stater technically his his address is also our address i don't think it works that way hey okay and backyard trucker sub to onto it aussie how are you awesome thank you backyard trucker ashley anderson there's backyards link and lee in maine we can talk fish i got plenty of sob <laughs> stories oh my <laughs> who doesn't if you fished you got sob stories about the one that got away right i caught the only one that matters so right here oh <clears throat> dear yep romance <laughs> points for me that's one kermudge is saying we need to find a dog and a chicken sitter hmm. so you need to find a dog did you lose your dog and then a chicken sitter See, see what I did there? You see what you did there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because if they're going, we're probably going. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. We'll have to. <clears throat> we'll have to see. Russell RW, JR73. Dang. I think it was here, maybe 60. Yeah, 73. I have seen that for seems like years mm -hmm. and there's pnj's homestead adventures link if you haven't checked them out please do big family expedition you're making me jealous with all this fishing talk yeah we are super excited about this year um of course everything one thing that we really found here is we tried to bring things that were relevant to what we were going to experience here yeah we don't have any of the things relevant to fishing here no like nothing ice fishing is 50 percent relevant um but none of the rest is so i mean drone fishing really yeah you do that here um but you need 14 foot poles i've got some reels that i got for free so we're good on that but uh yeah it's a challenge ashley anderson is sharing big family expeditions link thank you for that ashley Steve at Susie's Homestead. Susie and I made it to the Little Trout Stream by the Homestead this week. Looks great. Waiting for opening day. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Lots of thank yous. Rob is saying, we let the fire die in the AM, restart it to make dinner. Nice. It's actually warming up. That's the nice thing about having the big windows like that, Rob. It warms the house up for free. Oh, yeah. Unless you want it to be cool, and then it's harder. Steven Susie's homestead, or could it be that big white sweater, Phyllis? It might be. It might be. P and J's homestead. It's warmer in Alaska than it is here. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad here. The sun is actually out, and after the terrible day that was Sunday, uh, the wind never stopped. It must have started at like midnight. Yeah, it's, and then it stopped probably what seven thirty. 
So, yeah. At seven thirty, it almost turned off like a light switch, and it was it was not windy anymore. It was it was weird. Ashley Anderson is sharing Steve and Susie's homestead link. Thank you for that. <laughs> Rob, LMAO, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Take it to me to read it wrong. On to it, Aussie. I'm on the kid's laptop, and I can't drive it, but they surprised me with a brand spanker big iPad. So next week, I'll be on that. Oh, awesome. Congrats. Nice. Man, the kids are taking care of mama. That is a good thing Perfect. to see. Yes. Russell RW. Wow. Sounds like you have a full summer then, Adam. If you use spinners and lures for salmon, let me know. I can send you some. I used to have a business making them for salmon and steelhead here in Oregon. Wow. That is mm. awesome. Yes, we absolutely do, especially when on the ocean. Uh, the the pinks will be right up on top. And the pinks are pretty cool when you catch them in the ocean. They're just a silver fish. They don't look anything like they do when they're in the river here. Uh, but in the river... We also use spinners for them, and it's just it's kind of cool. You cast up river and just kind of let it float, giving it a little twitch as it comes down, and you'll you'll catch one. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you for that, Russell. Steve and Susie's homestead. Did he say smart assment? It's quite possible. I do make up words. <laughs> Matt's garage. It's another atomism. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Robert Bartman, what drone do you fly? Um, you should one big enough to deliver package and make some side money. Yeah, I fly a DJI Mavic Pro, um, <coughs> so it's got the it's got the better camera. Uh, it's got the Hasselblad camera on it. Um, I'm not sure what it'll lift. Uh, we're looking at. I've got them in the car, but they're like five ounce, five or eight ounce weights. Plus, you'll have the weight of the line. And whatever the the bait is, which usually you use a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of squid, uh, just because the uh, everything can't just steal it right off the hook. So, yeah, as long as it'll fly that, we should be good to go. I'm excited. Rob is saying, add on to it, Aussie. Tell them we said thank you. We missed our Aussie gals. Yes, for sure we have. Yes. Yeah, you guys are kind of an integral part of the lives, just like Monica Lynn, who's not here. Hold on. Keep going. Oh my, she's going to be here. Ashley Anderson <laughs> is sharing Matt's garage's link. Thank you for that. Um, if you talk to Matt's garage, refer to him as Marvelous Matt. You'll get instant feedback on that. Right. Russell RW, yellow eye, good eats right there. Oh my goodness, Here in yes. Oregon, we can't keep them anymore. And that's the weirdest thing, because whenever we fished anywhere in the ocean, we caught yellow eye. It's not like they were uncommon at all. I caught one kelp greenling. That's pretty uncommon. Um, but yeah, it seemed kind of odd to me. Didn't you kind of catch like all the fish? Yeah, it was. Hey, we... Oh, including a. A porpoise? I didn't catch the porpoise. Oh. That was uh, Donnie. Oh. Um, but we had a, a cool chart. It was it was like a laminated page. And it had all the different types of rockfish and the fish you could expect to catch out there. And I think I caught almost all of them. It was, it was awesome. There was one spot we fished where every time I caught a fish, it was a different fish. And I had so much fun with that. It was, it was a blast. And we got a picture of each one. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really cool. You should have been there. Yeah. Somebody has to take care of the chickens and the dogs. Right. Monica Lynn, hello, my friends. Sorry I'm late. I've been running from bats. It's good <laughs> to see you, Monica. <laughs> you just said that and scratching. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Good to see you, Monica. Did I give you an eye roll? I, I must have given you an eye uh, roll. Might have, yeah. What did Maybe. I do to deserve an eye roll? I Nothing. <laughs> no. I roll number two. Right. Lee in Maine at Kermudge in Alaska. Don't ever get a red, red bone dog. They love chickens. Love to eat them. Uh, uh, we happen to have a German shepherd that loves yeah. to eat chickens. Too. And a sled dog who has never got to taste chicken, but by the look on his face and the fact that he drools when he sees them, right. I'm betting they wouldn't make it very long here. Kermudge in. Yeah, that that is why. You cannot have a guy watch them unless they're with you. Yeah. What? Do you just 
cannot have you guy watch them if we are with you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I. It was. Yeah. Okay. I don't, it's been a long time. <laughs> P and J's Homestead. Hi, Monica. Glad to see you. Ashley Anderson is sharing Monica's link. Thank you for that, sir. And a lots lot of, of lot of hellos going on. Oh, oh my goodness! Here we go. There you go, Rob. Add to it, Aussie Rob. I will do it for you. Mm-hmm. Nice, Monica Lynn. Hi, big family. Hi, P and J backyard trucker. Rob, Sarah, and Matt. Awesome, Kermudge. And sorry, I'm not helping it, Ashley Anderson. I'm making dinner. That's okay. Taco Bell is not an option for you. No. <laughs> PTL fabrication with the thaw. Have you had any flooding yet? Is and is the flooding early? Year, um, yearly. Oh, yearly, early, yearly. That just leaves stuff out. Right. Um, I would say we don't really get flooding here in the spring. I mean, we get wet spots like everyone else does, and our road currently looks disastrous, but we don't really get the flooding. The most we've had is when it, you know, because it'll be, it'll get to a point where there's no snow down here at all. And then if you drive up Hatcher's Pass, there'll still be 10 feet of snow on the ground up there. So if you get those 80 degree days, it'll melt a lot. And then in the morning here, it's on a 12 hour cycle. In the morning, we'll have water on the road. When I come home at night, it's dry. And it'll do that. Every single morning, there'll be water on the road. And then it's gone. Yeah. And it does that for about a week. So, um, yeah, the flooding, the worst time for the flooding is the fall when the rains come. And when the rains come, they they can really Don't cause leave. us some issues here. Yeah. Uh, the last, the big one that we had, they got 10 inches of rain in like an hour up in the mountains. And there was flooding where people have never seen flooding before here in Alaska. So that was a tough year. It was also the rainiest year on record in Alaska. Figure we move up that year. <laughs> JR, I can catch any fish I want to eat at the local fish department. If, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah I, then you have to pay for it. Yeah. You don't have the experience. I mean, even, you know, we say that we're doing it to save money. And honestly, the number of meals that we have made from the salmon is kind of astounding. Yeah. And if you figure a minimum $10, $12 for each of us to eat at any time, you really do save money. But if you're going out to catch one halibut and figure you got to drive a Super Duty for four hours and pull a $200,000 boat and have, you know, $10,000 worth of gear to catch 80 pounds of meat, you didn't really save any money. Um, it's more for the experience at that point, which is pretty awesome, too. And there is PTL Fabrications link. Thank you, Ashley. Matt AK, I just read an article from the local news that said in 22 states, you need to make $110,000 a year to afford the median house price. And that's true. Yeah. Um, and I think Alaska would be one of the worst because everything here is really expensive. But if you have some skills, it's not that hard to make that much money. But still, one hundred and ten k build is, your own house. Yeah, yeah. Then we do everything we can, especially this year. We'll be kind of, we're kind of getting where we're kind of feeling our own here and we can do more things. Like if Rob and I are successful on caribou and moose hunting, that's a, that's a whole lot of meat you don't have to buy and we're eating well. Yeah. And so that's less money going towards groceries and more money that can go towards a new snow machine. Hmm. We're good. Keep reading on. Okay. Monica Lynn, what fun did I miss tonight? You guys, it hasn't been, it's been pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, by normal, I mean, pretty calm. And Well, I mean, we had, we had beaver thongs for, yeah. for roosters. Yeah, yeah, and, and Ashley. And Ashley, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to think of how to stay warm when he comes up here next week. Um, so, yeah. You know, the river's open. We should try and get him to do the ice water. Not in the river. Why? That's how you die. Why? Because the water's moving. And you but die. it's shallow. Oh, so am I, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if it fits. <laughs> Troy Sutton, hey, sorry I'm late. Good to see you in here, Troy. That's awesome that you made it. 
And there is Matt AK's link. Thank you, Ashley. Some hellos to Troy. And Lee and Maine at Monica, whatever you do, don't let Phyllis talk you into a white Russian. Oh, my. How are you doing, Lee and Maine? <laughs> huh? You on number three yet? Right. Oh, my. I highly doubt it. <laughs> Matt's Garage, you really don't want to know. Or you really don't want to know, Monica. <laughs> Very true. Clint Gilcrest, JR, I caught a three-piece fish plate with coleslaw and fries last week. <laughs> oh, man, you should try to smoke that. That would be good in a jar. I like it. That's why I like the smoked salmon so much. You, it's already cooked. So you can just take it wherever you are. You can go camping with it and put it on crackers or whatever you want to do. So somebody asked Rob and Sarah what they miss about Florida. They're basically pff, nothing. And but there is one thing about Wisconsin that I kind of miss. What's up? The Friday night fish fries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Friday night fish fries were a event in yep. Wisconsin, and we made it to uh, oh, Bird's Place pretty much every Friday. Yeah, or we either Bird's Place, um, or right in Town Prairie Farm there. Uh, the Packer Inn occasionally. Yeah. And we'd go out to Moon Lake occasionally. Moon Lake was always a good time. Yeah. That was before the new owners, so. Yeah. And Brooke Trout is saying, wouldn't it be easier to go out in a boat, vertical jig, opposed to a thousand yards of line with a drone? Uh, what the fun de- is that? Yeah, it depends. It's all kind of about the experience. Because with, like, say we go down the Nanilchik, we can take our new Overland trailer right on the beach. And we can set our lines and get a fire going in the solo stove and just kind of relax for the day. Um, It doesn't cost nearly so much. Um, But it is, it's tons of fun to go out in a boat too. Um, Not going to lie, but it's all about the experience. And Rob is saying, yes, I would be testing that drone bait delivery system before you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we certainly will. Multiple times even. Okay, lots of hellos. And oh, there's a hello number 38. You missed that. Ding. Oh, it won't click. Brooke Trout called her out. Nice job. Hello number 38. That is Monica Lynn's number. You should get like a jersey that says 38 on it, Monica. That Mm -hmm. would rock. And there is Brooke Trout's link. Thank you, Ashley. Steve and Susie's and new line on the reels agreed. Um, I only run a uh, a braid line, and then I'll do a back to back uni knot with uh, probably at least thirty or forty pound uh, mono test on it. I've got. I've been watching another channel. What are they? Be outdoors, I think. Yeah. And they're really good at showing you how to set it up with extra swivels so that. The, the <laughs> fish can take the bait, but the weight will stay so they don't feel the bait right away or feel the weight right away. Ruger, come on. Come on, pup. Come on, dog. Come on. There we There's go. There is Ruger, who was the star of a short this weekend. What a good doggy. Such a good doggy. <clears throat> okay, and back to us. I know you'd probably rather see the doggos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Monica catching strays. Oh my. Ashley Anderson is sharing Monica's link. There we go. Good job. She's got a really neat channel. Monica, sorry, I was so exhausted I fell asleep. Been having a few dental issues. And well, my meds knocked oh. me out. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Dental issues are, man, when I've had pain, like uh, that one where. It was it was overwhelming, and I could just barely focus enough to drive, and I had to have you go and get my meds while I went straight home. <laughs> um, yeah, that was that's awful. Yeah. Matt's Garage, Monica, Alaska, my heart. Apparently, there's an untapped market for fur-lined lingerie. <laughs> I, maybe. P and J's. Don't forget to hit the like button for Adam and Phyllis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Clint Gilchrist, I lived in Corpus Christi, Texas when I was young. Fishing was awesome. All kinds of weird fish, and I loved shrimping. We got to do that, too. or Well, you didn't. Um, But Patrick and I did. Yes. When we were on his boat, we did some shrimping, and that was really cool. 
Um, I've never done that before. It was it was fun. Um, I made him a trade though. He said, Adam, if I can have all the shrimp, you can have all the fish. And I said, deal. Because it's a, it turns out yellow eye. I like that better than I like shrimp anyway. So that was that was pretty awesome. On to it, Aussie. How did your camper go? Did the heater work well? Heater worked awesome. Yeah, being cold was not an issue at all. No. Um, I think we probably didn't even need to run the heater because you did run it for a while. Yep. Um, although it probably warmed up the blankets a little bit. Oh, yeah. But I might have been a little overkill on the blankets. Oh, my. We had blankets. We were good to negative 40. Yeah. Um, which is fine. Yeah. That's, that's fine. You can always rather... shove blankets off, but if you don't have them, you can't put them on. Right. So. Yeah, and I was, my nose was getting cold because I can't have my face covered because I'm weird. Um, but otherwise, I was toasty warm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the constant nonstop moving, violently right. moving. It wasn't like rocking gently on a boat. It was more like riding in a camper while going down a logging trail. It was... <laughs> It was rough. P and J's. Hope you're feeling better, Monica. Yeah, that's uh, that's no fun at all. Ashley Anderson, 1791. It's the tailored fit that makes it all worth it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my. Nope, I'm skipping all that. You don't want somebody taking measurements? Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. Monica Lynn. Oh my God, Matt. I'm itching and sweating for wine. <laughs> oh. Oh, here we Seriously, go. Seriously, I so honestly, I did think of of Monica just briefly. God, was it yesterday? Because I watched a video of how they the modern way of doing a sheep dip. Okay. Yeah, they they put them in this thing and then they put a cover over it and then they lower them. Mm -hmm. Where before it was just run the sheep in this. Yeah. I thought of Monica. Well, Monica, you should research a sheep dip. That might help you with some of your issues. <laughs> Lee and Maine. The second Russian goes down a little too smooth. Uh -huh. Oh, wait till you hit the third. This if... will just be a memory shortly after that. Okay. Ready for this <clears throat> Yep. One? Matt's Garage at Alaska My Heart. Sounds like you need a scrubby. <laughs> oh, boy. Now we're coming back from last week. This is awesome. <sighs> RM, evening folks. I'm late, just listening. Well, great to have you in here, RM. That's awesome. Steve and Susie's homestead at Clint Gilchrist. I was there catching blue crabs and throwing them right in the pot. Oh, man, that's awesome. So I have never had fresh, right out of the water crab. Hmm. You don't Does... like it, though, generally. Right, but maybe I will if it's fresh, because whatever I've had has probably been frozen and thawed five times and i don't know i will actually have to try it we'll have to catch some then yes ashley anderson lee have you seen or do you remember red skeleton smooth speaking of red skeleton we have a whole series at work huh yeah monica lynn pretty sure is need a doctor after wearing fur-lined underwear <laughs> maybe yeah <laughs> get some itchy sketches there but if they if they work the leather enough, it should be soft and mm, nope, not for me. Clint Gilchrist said Steve and Susie's home said yes, good crabbing down there too. I, hm, I've never done that. We probably shouldn't be talking about thongs and crabbing at the same time. I don't know. It's gonna make Monica sweaty. <laughs> P and J's homestead <laughs> at Alaska, my heart. Monica, I think it was a thong, lol. <laughs> oh, Steve and Susie's homestead, yeah. Yeah, the heat will give you one heck of a rash. <laughs> my. <laughs> oh, Monica, look, I draw the line on this one, guys. I'm not catching no Arctic itch. <laughs> yeah, the snow fleas are the I was going to say, I haven't seen any snow fleas. <clears throat> oh, look at this one. Crabbing for thong scrubbies. Got to love this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, I think I have a screenshot of the whole list of conversation we had mm -hmm. last week. Yeah, we we do try to make it fun anyway. <laughs> Steve and Susie's home said Louisiana, the only place I've heard of boys getting a yeast infection. Oh, oh yeah, that's not good. 
heat, heat, heat and, and poor diet. JR. Oh, what number look was that? I think I'm that was sure. number one. So yeah, it has it's been a couple of eye rolls, but no massive <laughs> looks. Kermudge in this week, not next week. Okay. What's, what I'm not sure. Okay. We're going with it. Yep. We're with you, whichever way you go. Good trout one. There's the look. Took a while. It did. I, I've been nice tonight. PJ's homestead, lol, and it begins. LOL. <laughs> Oh, Rob is saying, LOL, Lee and Maine, they are dangerous. And you're talking about us or cra crabs <laughs> and stuff. Monica Lynn. Meanwhile, in my oh, head, my I'm goodness. singing that thong song. Thank you. I now it's in my head. That's terrible. Oh, hmm. dear. I don't even know what song that is. You... Sorry. It's okay. Don't sing it. I'm, I'm not gonna. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, Ashley, Monica, that shouldn't be your debut for your first <laughs> channel appearance. No. Yeah, when are you going to do a live, Monica? JR Willow Wednesday fly fish, just saying. No, it's not even what that says. Oh, fish fly. Fish fly. Then that. Fry. Uh, but yeah, fish fries are just awesome. Friday fish fry. Yep, we loved them. They were they were great. It was always like Pollock or a it was, cod or something like that. It was never like spectacular fish, but Moon Lake, they did the frog legs. Mm -hmm. That was great. Um, but you always had the choice of what beer battered, baked, deep cool. fried, and then you'd have all of your mm -hmm. yeah. and that's uh, you know, people kind of up here where you can catch halibut and stuff, a lot of times you'll inadvertently or just because they're in the same area, you'll catch a lot of common cod. And then a lot of times they throw them back. Well, common cod is what your fish sticks and your, it's made out of cod and pollock. Um, it's delicious. I, I love it. It's not like I'm saying that carp is as good as walleye. It's, it's good fish. Really like it. Steve and Susie's homestead while you're fishing, do some gold panning. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Yep, very good idea. <clears throat> Kermudge and Brook Trout One, we used to use modified potato cannons off Casperson Beach to launch frozen bait out 300 yards to catch sharks. There we go. You can do it. Yeah. So do it. That'd be fun. A potato cannon's easy. I just need some final net. And I could build one. I could build one this weekend. Well, and it get looks her like done. I'm building a potato cannon. <laughs> it, it's cheaper than I'll losing a two thousand dollar drone in the ocean. Well, yeah. Ashley yeah, Anderson, Monica, if I play lotto and use thirty eight, want want a cut of that? Oh right? man, that wouldn't that be something? So Steve and Susie's they don't understand the thirty eight. I believe the answer is Monica. Will was the 38th subscriber to Ashley Anderson's channel. And for some reason, ever since then, he's called her 38. Now we all call we her 38. Are, yeah. So yeah, that's just kind of her number. She owns that. <laughs> Lee and Maine at Kermudge Inn. LOL. Yeah, I'm finding that out. <laughs> Monica Lynn, I got you, Ash. I will share. My husband just told me that we should play the lotto. I will have to pick 38. Mm -hmm. Agreed. That's your number, Monica. Kirma Janet Lee and Maine, the first one, the first one I had, I chugged when I got on the train. I had a hell of a buzz by the time I got home on the wheeler. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that was a whole can in like five minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. We and... just we opened it because you never know how long it's going to be till the train gets there, and then all of a sudden there's the train. Well, you can't waste it, nope. so Phyllis passed it off to Rob and drink up. <laughs> That's a good time. <laughs> For us. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley Anderson, Steve and Susie, my 38th sub on my channel. Yep. And it's stuck. Kirma, Janet, Ashley Anderson, I have some Martin for you to use if you want to start your clothing line, LOL. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'll be working on a grizzle bear hide here pretty quick, too. Ashley Anderson, Kirmudge, we need a model. Any suggestions? Yourself. Yeah. Adam. Nope. Yep. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Already for lined. <laughs> Lee in Maine, hacker much. <laughs> so, look what you guys started. 
Lee and Maine had curmudgeon in. I can see how that could happen. Oh my, it's warming up in here now. Curmudgeon, LOL, Ashley Anderson. Depends on how much room you have. Nice. Oh, Matt's garage. Dear. Rob, he's going to need models for that clothing line at Curmudgeon. Monica Lynn, I used to model back in the day in New Orleans, LOL. Oh, awesome. Well, you better get up here then. Yep. That was a long time ago. Just last month. Very fine. <laughs> Steve and Susie's. I was thinking Adam was throwing a lot of blankets up there. <laughs> oh, I was too. It was kind of neat to actually watch the video afterwards. It's just like, I don't know how I was that accurate. I would just grab the whole giant comforter that's like a down comforter three inches thick and just give it a <laughs> toss in there. I wanted to do it neater, but Phyllis said just toss them up here. I'm like, right. Well, I had... There was nothing up there other than the silly little foam mattress. So I had the the mattress cover, the sheet, then the pillows, and then the down blanket that is literally about this thick. Mm -hmm. And then the comforter that is about 25 pounds. Yeah. So, yeah, we were good. Yeah, it was, we more or less had a weighted blanket, so to speak, with that comforter. I know. It was great. Ashley Anderson, we have a volunteer. <laughs> oh, nice. PTL fabrication. My dog Gizmo will grow. Will grow like Ruger. He'll sit on my wife's lap. <laughs> He's a hot blocker. Oh, my. That's blue. Yeah, that blue. Blue gets very... Uh, I don't know. If one of the dogs is barking and making a fuss, then he'll tend to attack them. I'm not sure. Well, no, why. even before those two, if we if we hug, oh yeah, he he's not okay with that. No, no, he's we try to put him right in the middle <laughs> and give him. Otherwise, attention. you give me a hug and turn me towards him, so then <laughs> yeah. I'm the one getting the kidney shots. Yeah. Rabasan, poor Monica Lynn, always itching and sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my flea and main at your much in good thing i have tomorrow off oh boy you're how gonna... many of that four pack <clears throat> have you drank you're gonna i go for all four don't be shy i have never drank all four in 24 hours oh i bet i would oh no mm -hmm. i bet you would not challenge accepted okay friday can i do all four we'll do a live we'll see my progression into degeneracy eventually <laughs> Monica Lynn, why are y'all still trying to <laughs> sheep dip me? <laughs> oh, oh just... my. Monica Lynn, next thing I'll try to use sheep shears on me. Oh, my. Wow. Well, hopefully, we don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Steve and Susie's homestead. Monica, I lived in New Orleans. Model wink. <laughs> oh, my. Monica Lynn, fun fact, I ever, I never actually sweat or itch. I stay inside so I don't catch anything. <laughs> My. Ashley Anderson, I'm not touched by that one, 38. <laughs> oh, curmudgeon. Ooh, my Phyllis. Fresh crab is amazing. Uh, used to get stone crabs all the time back in Florida. Fried soft shell crabs are amazing. And what are those new ones that are invading, like, is it North Carolina or South Carolina? I thought they're talking like some big blue crab is invading there and they're trying to catch them all or something. JR, the last cut the cord, the red skeleton collection. Is it on video or artwork? He's asking you. No, it's videos. The red skeleton was a TV show. He's asking you though. Right, but is it videos or artwork? Yeah, it's videos. I, Is it on VHS or DVDs? I'm not sure about that one. Might be real to real. We'll find <laughs> out tomorrow. <laughs> Lee and May and Phyllis, if you keep drinking these, you'll grow to love crab meat. <laughs> Maybe. No, if I drink too many, I'm not eating anything. Well, that's... that's yeah. You probably should eat before you drink too many. Might well, that's you. why I make sure I eat something before we have our lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kermudge in JR videos. I saw them last time I was in the Willow Rose. Nice. Ashley, JR, he was a holdover from vaudeville. I don't know what that means. It was a. a oh, thing. Ashley comes this week, Nick. Yeah. Yep, yep. You, did you. 
JR at Curmudgeon, Alaska. Thanks. I know a collector of the artwork. Huh. Okay. Really? I didn't know there was any. Ashley JR. Yes, he was a painter as well. Oh, my. <clears throat> Steve and Susie's Friday Fish Fry. Big here, too. Yeah, I, I missed the Friday Fish Fry. That was that was really awesome. Matt's Garage. Having Adam read the comments is kind of like a night at the improv. <laughs> oh, you're totally right. I don't disagree with you. You okay? Phyllis, you're turning awfully red. You got to breathe. Oh, my. <laughs> You need a Kleenex too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're not wrong. We'll tell you that. I'll go ahead and take over this part while she's doing it. <laughs> oh my. She's gonna have tears running down her legs, Monica. Um, JR at Ashley Anderson. My ex has many of the paintings and collector's plates. Clint Gilcrest, Friday Fish Fry is pretty much the law here. Oh, man, I love that. I wouldn't mind being there. Monica Lynn, I will I will do a like itching, scratching, and sweating just to make you all feel like you have fleas while singing the thong song. <laughs> just kidding. Love you guys. I enjoy the laughs. Oh, my. And there's plenty of that here. Uh, Steve and Susie's Homestead, Cod is the best. Yeah, I love it. I mean... Uh, the the black the ling cod is really good, but the common cod I thought was awesome. It is a light flaky fish, is really really good and easy to catch. <clears throat> Live not like yes, Monica, thank you. <clears throat> Ashley Anderson, he was the Indiana boy, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Y'all know what I meant. <laughs> Pretty much, we did. <laughs> Clint Gilchrist, Steve and Susie's Homestead. I prefer catfish. Cod is okay. I've only really had catfish once, and it was farm-raised. And it was frozen in a bag, you know, and I bought it thinking, oh, well, this will be cool to try. It wasn't good. It was mushy, and I didn't really care for it. But it wasn't like, like we were talking, fresh caught, that sort of thing, which I'm sure that's why it's all that different. Steve and Susie's catfish has to come from good water. You're right. You're right. In the farm rays that sit there and eat dog food, I wouldn't call that good water. Brook Trout 1, we use the same potato gun for salmon in the spring in Waukegan. Power lining. Awesome. Maybe I'll build one of those this weekend. You guys want to see that? For those of you that haven't built one. On to it, Aussie. Do you lot realize thongs are footwear in Australia? Yes. Yes, I've heard them called that, but here it's meaning something else. I'm sure you know that. Monica Lynn, that's cool at Onto It Aussie. Yeah, that's what I've heard them. I've been overseas quite a few times, and that's I've heard that. Yes, Rob. <laughs> high Life on the High Line. I have been out of the chat for a bit, but I hear the summary is a constipated beaver wearing a Martin thong, wishing it was really a sheepskin, particularly necessary in a floating outhouse, right? <laughs> Oh my, just, I'm going to leave this comment up here for just a second because Phyllis is coming back and I would hate for her to miss this. Okay. okay. I'm prepared. Okay. She's totally prepared. So I'll go ahead and read it for you. <laughs> High Life on the High Line, Amy Curry. I've been out of the chat for a bit, but I hear the summary is a constipated beaver wearing a Martin thong, wishing it was really a sheepskin, particularly necessary in a floating outhouse, right? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yeah, she's got to. Okay. Yeah, you got to get a snapshot of that one. That's that's beautiful. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you're you're pretty close to it. <laughs> Rob is saying, add on to it. Aussie here in places also flip flops. Really? Wow. Blue is coughing up whatever he ate today. On to it, horse Aussie. Hoof? Oh yeah, probably probably a horse clipping. Is is what I'm guessing. Fur line. Oh, you did. Fur line. Onto it. I see. LOL. Fur line thongs on the beach. Oh, that wow. would be way too warm. Yeah. Oh, and that's not going to be comfortable when it gets wet. No. No. no not, not really. I wish I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> Ashley Anderson. Aussie. Not here. Personally, <laughs> I prefer our versions. <laughs> right. 
big family expedition at onto at Aussie. People in my family call some footwear thongs too. Yep. Yes. Steve's home said at onto at Aussie. I can vision a funny video. Do it. <laughs> oh my. Onto it, Aussie Ash. That a banger. Okay, I'm not sure. Ashley Anderson, Amy, if you were drinking a white Russian, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Kermudge in new calendar idea for undies by Ashley Anderson. The Nanook edition. Oh, I love it. Frostbite optional. <laughs> uh, yeah. On to it, Aussie. No way, it's Steve and Susie. <laughs> Steve and Susie, yes, sat <laughs> on to it, Aussie. I, yeah, we've got a model, I guess. Ashley Anderson, Rob, lol. Monica Lynn, on to it, Aussie, gets comment of the night. <laughs> uh, Kermudge in, I would, but it, I could, but it would be funny as hell. That's fine. Uh, Isn't that what we're here for? I guess we are, certainly. Monica Lynn, I cannot <laughs> top that. Throwing my hands up. You won You won the internet last week, Monica. Right. You've got to share sometime. Oh, I can get up. Oh, with, the, with the fleas and the bats chasing your fleas and being itchy, scratchy. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. Ashley Anderson, I see you on the beach in thongs and a... Yeah, I'm well for that. Oh my. Um, Brook Trout won four cans while fishing, camping. I see what the drone shots look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't drink them, I do. Yeah, no. He drinks no. the the stuff. College beer. Yeah. Hey. I'm just never going to grow up. You knew that, though. Oh my, Clint Gilchrist, neither one of y'all look old enough to know who Red Skeleton is. Mm, no, I mean, well, I do know who he is. I just. I'm sure I've seen some of it. Mm -hmm. It's just not something I follow. Lee in Maine, a white Russian live would be quite interesting. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Where we both sit here and we both try to do four cans. Oh no. Oh, you can do it. Stop it. I've seen you drink a whole bottle of apple pucker. You were fine in the morning. No, I was not fine. No. No. That was, that was bad. Hmm. Ashley Anderson, Clint, I'm old school for a reason. Yeah, not a problem. Kermaj Yannick, Clint Gilchrist. I used to watch him with my grandfather. Loved his stuff. Wow. Read that again. Oh, grandmother. Sorry. No, there we go. I know. That's my improv. You're good. <laughs> Marvelous Matt's Garage. Got to get up early. So good night to all. Stomach hurts from all the laughing so much. Well, thank you, Matt, for being in here. Um, I hope tomorrow is great. And if it isn't, think of the conversations you heard here tonight and your day will be brighter. <laughs> or have one of these. Yeah, yeah, while at work, your day will be brighter. Oh, yeah. JR, you can get coconut crabs in Tinian and Saipan, sometimes on Guam. These things get very large and can open coconuts. Google it. I've, I've seen oh, them in there. My. I'm not sure I even want to mess with that critter. They're huge. <clears throat> I think you're right, too. Lee and Man, I'm pretty sure it's skeleton, not skeleton. <laughs> yeah, well, I grew up with skeleton, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, my. Clint Gilchrist, that your much in Alaska. I still watch him on YouTube every now and then. Oh, I okay. have to check that out. Yeah. Kermajin, I, I have only had good catfish in Mississippi. Hmm. I've never had it. On to it, Aussie. Hey, Matt, didn't see you so okay. Matty K, my cousins live on the lake just outside of Dallas, and it's just full of catfish. Takes 10 minutes to catch a lot of dinner if you're feeling it. Mm. Wow. Troy Sutton, I got a new book. And he's got a big brown beaver. Yep. Uh, it's Winona. Winona. It's yeah. supposed to be Winona. That and must be Granny's name. It's uh it's a song. It's a song by if Primus. If you guys, yeah. If you guys want to be entertained, look up Primus. Yep. 
the best bass guitarist ever. Yeah. Matt AK, how do you get on to it, Aussie? i just been mostly listening tonight. He acts like he's busy. I know, right? Steven Susie's Homestead, whoever made Phyllis get the tears down her legs should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> You've done that to me so many times. Oh, totally worth it. <laughs> Except I never heard that phrase before until Monica said it. So oh. I well, never... I said it, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <sighs> okay, RM. Yes, please show how to build a potato gun. I think we'll make that a mission this weekend. I see a trip to Home Depot in my future. <laughs> and where do you buy Final Net? I don't know what Final Net is. It's hairspray. The cheap hairspray in the metal can. That's that Aqua they Net. Used... It was Final Net, I thought. No, Aqua Net. Well, I never used it. So as you can Are you see, sure? not a lot of hairspray. Dude, you had long hair before I met you. I did. But like I didn't... all the way long hair. I didn't it use was gorgeous. Any... I didn't use any products. Oh. Yeah, I'm just, just naturally beautiful. Big family. Is that a thumbs up on the ceiling above the sink? Yes, sir. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Um, the reason for that is that during Christmas, we had Christmas lights up there. Phyllis did. She went really crazy with the Christmas lights this year. And one of them actually would flash what looked like a thumbs up signal on the, on the ceiling. So then after we took them down, everybody mentioned it. So I printed off a thumbs up at work and stuck it on the ceiling. So kind of like that. Can I can I make it do this one? It won't do it again. I don't know how I do that. That's crazy. Your bugs aren't cooperating. I uh, maybe not. They went yeah. over to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Lee and Maine, note to self, one white Russian. <laughs> Two is fine if you've eaten. Three is fine if you, you're going you to You started so. at eight o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> JR, didn't the women in the movie 10,000 BC wear fur lined bikinis? Yes, they did. Were they? They weren't lined. The they fur weren't fur lined. Yeah, yeah, you probably want cotton to line them. Right, because they could just get their own cotton. Steve and Susie's Homestead, JR, yes, they did. I love that movie. That was a good movie. Agreed. <clears throat> On to it, Aussie oh, American gotcha. Thong, Aussie G Banger. Yeah, I so, still don't know what that means. Thongs, mm -hmm. the underpants. Yeah. They call them G-bangers. Oh. Because thongs in Australia and many other places are flip-flops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was not aware of that. Russell R.W. Phyllis, nothing like fresh crab. I've caught dungies many times off a dock with a cooker set up right there. So much better. Our bucket list is to do the same thing with king crab or snow crab when we move up. Oh, that mm. sounds awesome. Oh, I mean, king crab's amazing. I, I had it, I think, once when I was a little kid. My parents actually bought it, but now it's Whoa. so expensive. Really? Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, one time in my life, I had so crab. the only crab I've ever had is that fake crab. When didn't you have snow crab at the Asian place in Rice Lake? Or was that just me? I think that was just you. I've always had the fake oh, yeah, imitation the... crab, and I'm just like, whoa, this is not. It's like rubber bands. I know. I like it. It's, oh. it's like clam. Ugh. Clam has a just a chewy texture, and I really like that. But I don't like calamari. I... Um, I, I, I've been told that I have never had it cooked right, and you could be correct. I, I really don't know. Monica <laughs> Lynn, I can hear the song now. That's perfect. Yeah. Steve and Susie's at JR in the movie Caveman, a classic. Oh, indeed. Those were good ones. Ashley Anderson, Ossia G Banger here is way different. Not even going to draw yeah. that picture. That's why I kept not saying it. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. So, yeah, a G string. Yep. Yes. But it's, yeah. Monica Lynn, I'm done. That's it. Stick a fork in me. I've died <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, Monica, you rock. Kermud Janet alone in Mount Alaska is being pretty quiet tonight, LOL. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. She probably doesn't want to get drawn into this conversation. I don't blame her. Actually, I thought of her today, too. Uh-oh. But you don't even get to know about it. Well, so well, I'll be sending her an email okay. later. Monica Lynn, hey, alone. I didn't know she was here. Hey, girl. 
Hey. <laughs> that brings up a joke. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Kimojian. Oh, my God. An 80s kid does not know Aquanet. I know. I thought it was Final Net. I don't know why I have that in my head. No. That's why I was confused. I'm like, I don't know what Final Net is. You'll die. Hmm. I don't know. I was thinking Annette. Oh, no. Oh. So, Maddie K., I'm usually not busy right now, but I'm obsessing over planning a trailer conversion, LOL, ADD brain. Oh. Yes. I oh. happen to know somebody that does that. Mm hmm. A lot. <laughs> Most of the time. PJ's Homestead Adventure. Adam and Phyllis, not sure if you saw the notification, but Alone in Remote Alaska is going live tomorrow. Happy dance. Yes. Hey, if anyone has the the capability the technical skills to share the link for alone's live tomorrow or if alone is actually still listening um could you please share that link that would be awesome and we will all see you there tomorrow yes high life on the high line i had to look up g banger in the urban dictionary now i'm up to speed gotcha yeah we apologize. aquanet lol I used to use so many cans back when I had long hair. And yes, I had oh. a mullet. <laughs> I love That's it. That's awesome. Please send pictures. <laughs> right? Much in, LOL. I forgot about 10,000 BC. Ringo. Oh, yeah. I life on the high line. Too late, Ashley. <laughs> it's already happened. Monica Lynn, I will see you alone in your live tomorrow. Thanks, P&J. On to it, Aussie. Well done, High Life. We have a very different version of English here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, indeed. No, you at least you don't. You're not mad at me because I wasn't reading it. <clears throat> See, Adam thought we was being all nasty minded. Right. I just wasn't gonna read it. Um, Monica Lynn, have to go, guys. Appointments tomorrow. Y'all take care. See y'all next week. You guys are awesome. Take care. And Monica, might I suggest, if you have two or three of those white Russians, your tooth won't bother you anymore. That is true. Yep. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. High life on the high line. Mild definition. <coughs> no worries. Okay. Ashley Anderson is saying goodnight to 38. Monica well, Lynn, hey, love you, Phyllis. We love you, too. Heck yeah, we do. Yeah. Have a, have a few of these white Russians and take you're, a nap and you're going to be good. You're an integral part of the uh, Monday night happy hour live show. <laughs> so. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. High life on the high line tonight, Monica. <laughs> Don't let the bed bugs <laughs> fight. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amy Curry. Joseph Hesley, good night or good evening, everyone. Good evening, Joseph, and thanks for being in here. Rob is saying, good Lord, I think I used a can a week of Aquanet. So, um, honestly, actually, I think I saw a can in your bathroom, didn't I, Rob? Are you still using that? What were you saying? I think the only thing that I used Aquanet the most on what? was spiders. Wow, you were mm -hmm. burning them? No, you just spray them with Aquanet and they can't move, so they're dead. Hmm. We had an old farmhouse, so okay. there were spiders. Okay, well, we better probably get to the end here. Oh, here's a link hey, for... Hey, there's the link for Alone's Live tomorrow. Um, definitely check that out. We will be there. We look forward to seeing it. <clears throat> Onto it, Aussie. It's final net in Australia, so don't feel bad, Adam. Ha ha! Look at that. Maybe I picked that up when I was in Australia. You were there for like a day. No, I was there for like, I was in Sydney for two or three days, and we were in Perth for a couple of days. Perth was awesome. Loved it. Good times. High life on the high line. We use Aquanet to waterproof our jeans for skiing. Really? Holy cow, we are learning things here. <laughs> Lee and Maine, final net. It's also a hairspray. Ha. I. Da ha. Now I don't feel so dumb. JR, I looked last night and I did not see the link. Okay. Joseph has to link this show, Rocks. <laughs> LOL. Thanks for being a part. We'll see you next Monday. Big family expedition. Good night, everyone. I have to work in the morning and it's after 10 here. Must be getting old because I'm tired. 
No, that's no okay. after 10, we're usually pretty done too. JR, my sister would get a can of Aquanet in her stocking for Christmas. Wow. Wow. Okay. Kermudge in LMAO. I have not had big hair since I was a teen. Oh, that was just a few years ago, <laughs> Rob. I remember my hair would still go flat <coughs> even if I used Aquanet. Yeah. AFJ the third is a mischievous adult. I would use Aquanet <laughs> to fuel my potato gun. That's what I'm talking about. It's safer than starting fluid. Joseph Hesselink, do they still make that stuff? Yes. Yes, they do. They do. Yes. Okay, we're going to need to get a case of it. Okay. And we're going to make a potato gun coming this weekend. Clint Gilchrist, Aquanet destroyed the ozone. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was just brain cells. Yeah. Kermajin Aquanet was used on loads of things, freezing spiders, burning them, waterproofing, and big hair. My. Spooters. Spooters. <laughs> Dang, spooters. Those are the worst. <laughs> They're only in Florida, though. <laughs> Joseph Hesselin, <laughs> it's great for potato launchers. See, and that's not even my improv. That just really came up on the screen. <laughs> Look what you did to Phyllis, Rob. <laughs> oh, more leg tears. Robert Bartman, good night, Adam and Phyllis, Rob and Sarah, you all fun loving people on the chat. Have a great week. And you too. Hopefully Phyllis <laughs> is going to need a week to recover from this live, I think. <laughs> this might be going on here for a while. Oh my. Hey, hunting and stuff. You made her. He's good to see you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. With that... And Phyllis in her <laughs> laughing state. Uh, it's been an hour and 46 minutes. I will say good night to you because she can't talk. So <laughs> we will see you all next week. And this should be the best ending for a great live. All right. This is Adam. And that's Phyllis from Alaska Cut the Cord. Love you. Bye. <laughs>